this is my best hardpoint match. Uh, and it doesn't have more kills or like a higher kill death than previous hardpoint matches I've posted. But it's like a 7500 score and it's basically a one, one on six match. You know, in which I had to pull out every tool in the toolbox to secure a victory. And so I thought it would be a uh, decent gameplay for just like a general hardpoint strategy guide. And I've been trying to get the old win-loss higher these days. You know, I've been avoiding rage quitting even to the detriment of my own sanity. And really just going balls out for the win. And this match is a more, you know, glorious example of that. But for every match like this, there's at least one where I get a similar score, uh, but we lose. And that's depressing. And as you see in this match, I've been running all the UAV streaks basically with the idea that if I give my team permanent UAV, counter UAV, uh, with a couple of blackbirds, it'll give them enough insta-skill to achieve a decisive victory. But a lot of time it doesn't, and you'll see in this match, I give them like three blackbirds, and it still ends up being close to, you know, you know, a close one, close match to the very end. Um, but the reason I'm playing hardpoint, other than the fact uh, that it's the fastest way to rank up, and it's the fastest way to boost your score per minute, is because it's where I feel the most comfortable carrying a team. Uh, you know, I do play by myself, and it feels like a lot of the time I get those teams that don't really care about winning. Or, you know, maybe they do care about winning, they're just in the process of developing, uh, uh, you know, the right amount of gun skill, or whatever. Uh, so, you know, whereas in something like Domination, there's going to be three objectives, and I can't be in three places at once. But Hardpoint has one objective, and when I'm in the Hardpoint, I feel sort of like... Uh, you know, the uh, what you, the 300 Spartans, right? Because uh, it doesn't matter what kind of team I get, because all I need is me. Uh, because in the hard point, just as when the Spartans were in their, uh, you know, their narrow cliff pass, numbers mean nothing. You know, if you want to, if you want the hard point, you got to fight me for it. And I'm a tough motherfucker to kill. Now, theatrics aside, winning hard point comes down to a few tactics and how well you do them. First of all, you need a silenced SMG. If you're serious about winning, you're going to be in the hard point, which will always be a narrow, confined space, uh, you know, where the assault rifle will always lose. And you want that suppressor on it basically because it's going to let you survive in the hard point longer. And the enemies will come in waves a lot of the time. And so if the suppressor keeps you alive through the course of one wave, that could end up being, you know, as much as an extra 20 seconds. You know, times that by three, suddenly it's an extra 60 seconds. Games are won by 60 points. Uh, won or lost a lot of the time. Uh, and so everything comes down to surviving in the hard point. You know, so flak jacket is very helpful. Um, I caution against bouncing Bettys because you'll have to be right next to them. And, you know, when you're next to the damn thing, when it goes off, it's more frustration than it's worth because either you're going to have to stay low, which is going to fuck with your maneuvering, uh, or it's going to hit you, and if you don't have flak jacket, that's going to kill you, and if you do have flak jacket, you know, you're one, you're one shot away from death. C4, though. C4 is the way to go. Uh, C4 is pretty good for clearing out the hard point. What, one thing I like to do is throw a smoke in the hard point, and then throw a C4 in the hard point. And that pisses people off, and it's also very satisfying. Secondly, you need big brass balls, alright? You can get them at Walmart for six bucks. I know some people like to have them diamond encrusted, but diamonds are heavy, and that'll slow you down. Uh, but nobody comes into this game to kill whore. Alright, nobody comes in here to build kill streaks or get headshots or any other dumbass shit. The spawning is erratic along with the objective, and there's only one way to play this game type successfully, and that is hard and fast. You know, people play hard point to rank up quick, you know, get that score per minute high, win, or simply because they love how fast it is. And it is by nature the most fast-paced game type in the game. And what this means is that 90% of the enemies you run into uh, will be quote unquote tryhards. And so, you know, you gotta be ready to play. Gotta have them big brass balls ready. Now, knowing the hard point circulation is probably the most important determining factor in this match. You know, on whatever map you're playing, it'll often come down to uh, do you know where the next hard point is going to be? And that's what's going to make the difference between a win and a loss. When there's 10 seconds left on the, you know, on the current hard point, it is no longer worth your time. You should be fighting to secure the next area, uh, which you can't do unless you know where it will be next. And it does follow a pattern. The hard point spawns are not random. Now, the enemy team will always spawn on a fixed side of the hard point. Never spawning in every direction. You can figure out the general area uh, by searching your mini-map and 
there will be like a big chunk of empty space with no blue or green arrows, and that's a strategy that applies to, you know, every game type, really, uh, where the spawning is random. You can use that in, like, TDM or Kill Confirmed or something. <clears throat> uh, but, you know, you use that to figure out where they're spawning, and if you're confident that one of your teammates can hold the hard point, you know, and continue to uh, score points, you can sort of strategically place yourself between the hard point and the general area in which you think the enemy is going to be spawning. And because it's so fast-paced and people die so quickly, they'll come in waves. I, they really do. And so it'll be like, mo they'll come in a, like a wave of multiple combatants. And so if six enemies come and you kill one or you kill two or even three and you slow down their whole group, you know, it's going to make little tiny incremental differences. And if you do that a couple of times, you know, you've ended up buying your team like an extra 60 seconds by the end of the game. And which I've said ends up, you know, very easily being the difference between a win and a loss. And granted, it's sort of a kamikaze mission. Um, you know, if you go to fight the six guys off their spawn, you might take out one or two who aren't really sus suspecting it, expecting it, suspecting it. Uh, but you'll end up, you know, they will they will gun you down because you'll just be outnumbered. Um, but you'll spawn, if your team's holding this hard point, you should spawn back by the hard point. And so, you know, not only will you slow them down, but you'll be there to defend the hard point uh, as well. So it's sort of a win-win. Do not push too far into that empty space where the enemy is spawning, or you will mess it up, and they will start spawning right on top of the hard point. You know, if you mess with the spawn system, it will mess with you back, and it's stronger than you are. I promise you that. I always think it's kind of silly when, you know, I'll see somebody, uh, either in a video or in-game, you know, complaining about how the spawn system is so bad, how they just got spawned on top of, but it's like they'll be rushing in the very back of, you know, the enemy's home flag on domination and it's like a ground war match. You know, you have to you have to respect the spawn system. And you have to understand that no spawn system is ever gonna be absolutely perfect. Because it's impossible to make it absolutely perfect. Because you know it's the movements of your team are so random and unpredictable. Um, you know, so just keep that in mind especially in a game like Hardpoint or in games like TDM or Kill Confirmed, is that the spawn, the spawning, just because it's random, it's still sort of predictable if you use the method where I was talking about, you know, look at the empty space where none of your blue or green arrows are. Uh, and you have to, you know, you have to respect it. And if, you, if you sprint deep into that empty space, you probably are going to get spawned on, just like if you rush the enemy's home, home flag or their home spawn. Uh, in a game like Domination, you probably are going to get spawned on. Um, so, you know, respect the spawn system is what I usually tell people. Fear it. As if it were an otherworldly entity, which it kind of is, you know. The spawn system is God in this game, if you think about it. And one other thing, one last thing about this match, you'll notice it's kind of laggy. Um, and that's because there's not usually a lot of people in Hardpoint. You know, the playlist is usually capped under like 5,000 players. Uh, and a lot of playlists are like that. I kind of wish they would consolidate some of them. But, you know, he Headquarters, Hardpoint, Capture the Flag, always going to be under, like, 5K players, which means it's going to be really hard to find a good connection because it all comes down to sort of location, location, location. And the fewer people there are in a playlist, the, uh, you know, significantly smaller the chance that there's somebody near you to who you can connect. And so the connection is going to be laggier. Uh, in smaller playlists like that and generally the hard point playlist will be laggy as you can see there are some sort of shitty moments in this match anyways hope you could enjoy the video this is Batman signing out